if I have a kidney mass. So mo a modern phenomenon of medicine now is that we have patients that are told they have a mass in their kidney and yet they had the CT scan done for another reason. I actually just saw an article on my desk today that was talking about the increased survival of patients um, with kidney cancer that are diagnosed in such a fashion with what we call an asymptomatic or incidental finding. Um, uh, if you look at all kidney masses, solid kidney masses that are found, let's say on CAT scan, um, about 80% of them are malignant or, or considered kidney cancer. Uh, there still is a decent chance, 20% or less, that it's some form of um, benign lesion. There are some unusual kind of fatty type of tumors that can have an appearance like this. And then there are some other different subtypes of tumors that aren't so aggressive that are still considered a solid mass. What are the usual treatments for kidney cancer? So if one has a mass that's of a certain size and appearance on a CT scan or, or initially ultrasound them with some follow-up study, um, uh, there's a, a high percentage that it could be a kidney cancer, approximately 80%. Um, sometimes those patients are biopsied. A lot of times they're not um, uh, for a couple reasons. One is if the mass is big enough and suspicious enough, the risk of it being kidney cancer is so high that they probably don't need to undergo the biopsy. Um, uh, once uh, someone uh, uh, has a scan that shows that suspicious lesion, the most common uh, treatment would probably be a removal of the entire kidney uh, if the lesion's over a certain size, which is usually about four centimeters. If it's under four centimeters, uh, a lot of times the kidney can be removed. Sorry, the portion of the kidney that has the mass in it can be removed, what's called a partial nephrectomy. And then there's been some kind of exciting new treatments in the last few years where uh, instead of removing a portion or a part of the kidney, um, the, the mass is actually treated where it's located, uh, either with something called radiofrequency ablation or the other option is uh, cryotherapy. And what those are is cryotherapy is to actually freeze the, the mass and then radiofrequency ablation is actually to um, treat it with what's called radiofrequency, which essentially cooks the mass. Can kidney cancer be cured, or will my kidney be removed? Will I be cured is, I think, a very uh, reasonable uh, concern or aspect for patients that have kidney cancer. Um, uh, your patient's curability depends a lot on the size and the stage of the initial tumor. And if we're uh, presuming that the patient has no obvious metastases uh, uh, away from the kidney on um, CAT scan or other imaging study, their, their chances of being cured are very high, uh, probably overall about 90% with a 10-year survival rate, meaning that at 10 years, 90% of the people uh, are cured. That's if it's confined within the kidney and, and that type of thing. Now, it gets a little worse the bigger the tumor is and, and these other different parameters, but just as a rule of thumb, that's a good number. At those lesser procedures I was talking about earlier, so it's a smaller mass, let's say like a two or three centimeter mass treated, uh, their cure rate if treated by cryotherapy or radiofrequency ablation is still very good. Uh, they have actually about an 80% cure rate at 10 years. And so for a lot of patients, if they have a lot of other illnesses and that type of thing, if you weigh back and forth the risk of doing a surgery or moving part of the kidney and putting all that on the table versus having a um, radiofrequency ablation done by an interve interventional radiologist, um, you're only exchanging a 10% cure rate at 10 years for that, so it may be worthwhile for them. Um, but for some people, um, that 10% is worth it for them, and it, it just depends on the, the patient themselves and, and the location of the lesion and a lot of other factors. But it's, it's, uh, the exciting thing is there's a lot more choices and options now in treatment of it.